yo what's up guys welcome to another video in today's video i'm gonna show you how to fully optimize your pc to boost your fps lower ping and lower input delay and in this video it'll be a bit longer than usual as i'll be doing an optimization guide to fully optimize your pc which has a little bit of more tweaks than before so that yeah make sure you watch to the end and then let's dive right in so for the first thing you're gonna need a video control panel so right click on your windows click show more options and then click a video control panel once you do that a video control panel will load up then go to the first section and then click on use my preferences and sizing and then click go to performance then click apply once you do that go to my 3d settings then follow what i do go a bit down until you see open your rendering gpu and then select your gpu then go a bit down until you see power management click on it and click on prefer maximum performance then keep going on the way down until you see texture filter quality just set to high performance as well then you're gonna see the optimization turn it off they go a bit up until you see um preferred refresh rate make sure you press it to highest available and then yeah you can click, you can hit apply then once you go once you've done this go to configure surround and then select your gpu and then click apply once you're done go to change your solution then select your refresh rate and then make sure it's at the highest refresh rate then after that go until you see adjust decimal size and position and make sure you select no scaling as it has the lowest amount of input delay and then you can hit apply and then close the video control panel okay so now we're going to be doing some more advanced tweaks so just in case anything happens to your computer after applying the tweaks before we start applying the tweaks go into your windows and search restore point go to restore point then what you have to, have to do here just click on create and then say before tweaks and then press create and it will start creating a restore point for you and then if anything happens to your pc you can always revert back so now i'm going to quickly show you how to use a restore point so just click on close and then if anything happens to your pc it's going to system restore and then choose a different restore point and then you can choose which restore point you want to use so we have one on it right here the one we just made before the tweaks and then yeah just click next and it will start doing the restore point so now for the next week just right click click on display settings then go to graphics advanced graphics this is up to you you can turn this hardware accelerated gpu scheduling I'm gonna turn it off because I get more FPS with that. Then go to display, go to advanced display, make sure you have the highest refresh rate. And then after that, go back to game mode. Game mode. I'm gonna turn it off because I get more FPS with game mode off. Then go back to gaming, game bar. Make sure game bar is disabled. Once you do that, go to personalization, backgrounds. Now with backgrounds, I'll say use non and a non animated one as it gives you lower input delay. And then now go to accessibilities, visual effects, and then make sure these three are off the lowest amount of input delay. Now you want to set up, adjust up the appearance of windows, select this one. And now for this, it's really, really up to you. You can adjust for best performance and disable all of them, but there's some you might not enable. So then, yeah, so you can just like this, this, and then, yeah, apply. And then, okay. And then obviously it will start looking different everything else but it will give you the last amount of input there okay so the next you just got to adjust and then adjust the appearance of windows if for just performance but the ones i recommend turning it on is smooth edge screen fonts and then save time that's bad thumbnail previews this one as well and then this one as well and then press apply and then okay it make your windows look a bit different but it will give you a lower input delay so i do recommend turning it off so now i'm going to do some power tweaks so then go to uh, the power plan and then click on power options and then i do recommend setting it to ultimate performance but if you don't have ultimate performance let's go over here copy this i'll leave this in the description so you guys can copy it and then go to command prompt paste this in 
and then it will install ultimate performance and now what you have to do is go to hardware and then go back to power options and then ultimate performance right here this is probably the best because it gives you the lowest amount of input delay and best fps when gaming so now we're going to do some windows priority tweaks so then i go here and type ready once you open it up i'm going to leave this in the description as well so just copy it and then paste it into here and it will take you here so then now click on windows area 2 priority separation and before we change it i'm going to tell you what it does so basically what it does is separates background tasks from important ones like gaming so your computer focuses more on the game make it perform smoother by reducing the lag and then yeah so basically prevents other like processes from interfering so now before you change it just go to decimal and then the best value i think is between 24 or maybe 42 but i'll, I'll choose 24 because it gives me the, the highest amount of what percent loads and most fps this press ok what also do you recommend turning off go to game dvr this is really up to you so it depends i mean i'll say you should benchmark it but it's between one for enable and zero to disable it if you disable it it might give you higher fps and one percent lows but it's up to you so you should really test it out and then you just press ok once you're done and then you can close it so now what we're gonna do is download a utility to optimize your windows that i personally use so go to your browser search discord.dg slash xylo then after that go to free utility section and click on download and then visit the site and then what you're gonna have to do is just complete these two steps then you get the utility then you can download the utility so once you have downloaded it it should just look just like this and what you want to do is right click and class run administrator you just basically press yes and you get the utility so then now this is a free tick utility so but we have windows cpu gpu game user tweaks which you keep constantly updating and then yeah so then we also have like network evil tweaks and mouse and latency cpu gpu i do really recommend testing this out make sure you click on this to join our discord and then also we also have icon so you can see our website with our premium and standard tricky utilities that we just constantly update and then yeah what we're gonna do is go to any tricky you're gonna do for example windows tweak just select the tricky you're gonna do just click and apply let us continue they will just keep doing the same thing for everyone but we also have some good network tweaks a latency which i do really recommend using these and obviously there's like an expression right below and then yeah it is as well and then you only have to apply the tweaks once and once you have done pretty much nearly every tweak everything don't worry, don't worry guys everything is safe just restart your computer and then you should be fine we also have some phone tweaks and then yeah now a quick mouse tweak i want to show you just go to mouse search mouse settings go to additional mouse settings and the way you want to do is pointers point options and make sure this is ticked off as it will give you way more that your PC will feel way differently and then yeah so just press ok and your PC should, your mouse will feel a bit faster now then yeah I also do recommend to use a debloating tool so let's go to the trash icon and then use crystal tool make sure you run the app as administrator or else this won't work just hit enter if it starts load so it starts loading A safe tool I recommend using is the deep loading tool. So you make sure you run the app as administrator. Once you've done that, just go to the trash icon, go to crystal tool. You see this, just click enter so it starts loading. Then CT2 tool will load up. Just go to tweaks, go to standard, and click to run tweaks. This will basically deep load your whole window, so make sure you use it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and watching to the end for the optimization guide. Make sure in the comment you drop what you want me to do next. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.